Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beer in the flat flat design method or style. Uh, we'll be making this kind of beer mug right here with some foam, some added little effects. Learned it all pretty darn easy. So let's get started. Okay, starting off the first thing you want to do, we're going to create a box, a rectangle. And we want the rectangle to be about a 1 to 3 ratio between its width and its height. So the height will be 3 times more than its width. So in this case I use 50 versus 50. And we get a little box like this. Let's move it to here. We're going to make sure it has no fill. And then we're just going to select, direct select our anchor point here. And we're going to pull it out a bit. Let's say maybe about 7 points. So pressing the left key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And on this anchor point to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's make it a bit more. So one, two, and same on this side. One, two. Great, so that's the basic shape of our cup. Then we're gonna use a rounded rectangle, like this. And we're gonna pull it out to be right about so. We're just gonna select both of these features. We're gonna make sure that they're lined up to each other. And you want just a little bit of the circle coming out. You don't want this sticking out too far, so it's a very large bump. You can make this maybe a bit bigger like that. And we're going to make sure it has the same stroke. One. All right. Then we select both of our shapes. We make sure that they're aligned to each other or aligned down the middle. And we'll go to Pathfinder and Unite. And that's our basic last shape. Now we'll add one more thing. And we'll add an anchor point right around here. And we're just going to move this anchor point to the center of this line, right about there. And move it down with the down key, one, two, maybe just one. And then use the convert anchor to point tool. And we're going to click on this. And we're just going to hold shift and pull it out until we have this rounded base as an added effect. And let's see if it looks any better if we select the anchor point and bring it down another point. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, having done that, we select our cup and we'll go to object, path, and then offset path, okay? We want to offset the path on the inside, so we'll go make sure it's a negative offset. Don't worry about the joints or the meter limit. We'll go preview. In this case, I used around three pixels. So you want it to be just slightly offset from there. So press OK, it looks all right. Then we're going to select our shape right here. We're going to hold Alt and Shift, and we're just going to displace it a bit to the side like that. And we're going to select this anchor point right here and bring it up just a bit like that and give this a rounded edge as an extra effect. Then we'll select both of these shapes like so, and we'll go Divide. And if I give it a fill right now, maybe not that fill, let's give it a fill like that. What you see is that there's two or three shapes that resulted here, here, and here. But we're going to use a direct select key. We're going to select this shape and we're going to delete it. Now, we're going to make sure that this shape right here is a bit darker than the other. So let's bring it to about there and see if that works. Yeah. And then we're going to make this a light yellow shape into here. That looks a bit orangey. So the whole thing looks orangey. Let's bring it to the yellows. Like so. It's going into green. Colors are always the most frustrating bit of this. Oh, so let's try that. Okay, that's a bit yellowish. But you get the idea. It's good to have the colors already set before you start editing anything anyway. So we're just gonna select this. We're gonna make sure that it has no stroke. Like so. Great, so this is the inside of our glass. Now to make the foam at the top really easy, we're gonna create a bunch of circles. So hold shift, like so. We're gonna give it a color of white, a fill color of white, and a stroke, a black stroke like that. And stroke one, make sure all your strokes are the same, uh, same thickness. Then we're gonna create another circle, slightly bigger. And we're just gonna move this middle point to the intersect of uh, the edge of the circle and down to here. Then hold shift, 
Alt and Shift, make a bigger one, and do the exact same thing as before. Make sure that these intersect. Hold Alt and Shift, make it a bit bigger, like that. Again, make another one like that, a bit bigger. This will be the big one. And then we can start making smaller ones, like so. So, and I think I'll make one small one right at the edge. Just pull it out a bit, like that. Great. Then we're going to make sure that all, well, we don't have to worry about this yet. <laughs> Let's do a rounded rectangle tool. Our rounded rectangle. And you want it to cover up all of these paths right here, like that. All right. Then we're going to add some foam that would go underneath the bottom. So again, use the circle tool and create a small circle that kind of extends right here. And another one beside it. Maybe another one right here, like that. And we're going to give some more dripping foam on this side. So big circle, small circle, and another small circle like that. And then right off the edges, we can give a little bit of foam like that. Then we select all of our circles together. We're going to make sure that they have the same stroke. So all of it as one. And then we're going to go to Pathfinder and we're going to unite this as one shape. Like so. Perfect. Now that we have our foam top, we're just going to move it on top. Set it like a hat. Above of our beer. And then we're going to add a couple little effects. And these are pretty simple effects. All you do is use your pen tool and you find one of the edges of these circles like this and you just imagine that it extends outwards. So you do one point here, click and hold, and extend that circle like that. And then you're just going to repeat that process by selecting random circles. Oops. By selecting random circles, so let's go right here to about there. And like so. Make sure that you choose also some bigger ones. We'll go from here. Nope. Make sure you don't you're not uh, selecting anything. So we get to here. Up to here. Like so. Like that, and you just add them as you go, as many as you want. Oops, sorry. Let's add another one just on this side, and I think after this, you'll get the idea. Like that. Great. Another little effect that we can do is we can use our pen tool once again, and you can outline these strokes just on the outside. So we click close to this piece and right to there and then we'll hold shift and just kind of make a line that follows the outskirts of this line and just this a bit down like that and we can do this in a couple spots right here like that to there and once again here and it just it adds a little effect super simple to do you usually see it uh, stylizing many of these little circles I'm just gonna add another circle to here I'm sorry about all these circles it's terrible no. like so and we're gonna click on this anchor point just bring it out a bit more like that let's delete that from here to here and down to here. Okay, simple, you get the idea, you play with it, you'll find something that you like. Alright, make sure that all the strokes there are the same. Now the last thing that we're going to do, really simple, we're just going to add round and rectangles and this is going to give the stylistic effect of uh, some foam that's actually falling down. So you want the biggest ones at the top, smallest at the base, like so. Big foamy bit, 
bit small, maybe elongated and thin, and small bit like that. Super simple. And if you want, you can also add some little uh, circles like bubbles. Make sure that they have no fill. Not that one. Let's hold shift. Make them very fine, very small. Sorry, they should have no stroke. If they can have a fill. And you can just move them around as you see fit. Just make sure that they're in both the light and the dark background. Yeah. And that is about it. That's the simple way of doing this uh, design. Very simple. Of course you gotta play with the colors. <laughs> this should be a bit more, in this case this should be a bit more yellow. Or in this case orange. Like that. And there you have it. Simple easy way to make your own flat design vector beer mug. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial Check out our other tutorials. We do them every single week. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe, look at the videos, and have a great day.